What's up, Tommy? Good to see are you. These, are these burnout marks on? <laughs> Sometimes we party. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's kind of hard to believe, but this bike is going to be done in three weeks. It's going to be scared. Yeah, I'm going to be scared. <laughs> Damn. Everything just flows. It definitely makes you feel something deep in your first chakra. I feel like I have to say yes. Just full throttle bike building mayhem, drag racing, sending it shredding R18 madness. What's going on, guys? We're back with another episode of a Bavarian Soul Story. The R18 has finally been launched, and this is a bike that was born for the customizer. From anywhere from the at home, do it yourself kind of customizers to full blown builders. We've taken it back to California, and you probably recognize this shop. Tommy. Roland. That's Roland. What's up, Tommy? Tommy. The reason we're here is we're showing you guys how this R18 is fully customizable, from what you guys can do at home to what the pros are going to do. It's cool to be back, so let's go check it out. What's up, Tommy? Good to see you, man. Dude, good to see you too. What's going on? Not much, man. Not much. So, what are we doing today, man? I'm excited. I'm just stoked to have you back, dude. We're going to show you, uh, you know, it's been a minute. We're going to show you this R18 project we're working on today. Yeah, I heard you guys have one here, so yeah. it'll be interesting to and we're, see. And we're deep into it, too, so you get <laughs> you can get a good look at what we're doing. Hell yeah. I, I like to think that we do the, the, yeah. the hard work up front to so, make it easy to figure out you know how to build your own custom at home for sure you know that's something that we really like about the project because it's not about what it is it's about what it can be what it can be yeah well let's find out what it can be shall we you want to see it yeah let's go let's do it let's go guys are these are these burnout marks on (laughs) want to talk talk to me about this sometimes we party (laughs) I got it. <laughs> hey, no rules. Hey, just right. I don't, I don't know much, but this thing looks legit, legit. So talk to me, like, you said your dad was a, was a drag racer, so like, what's that like being able to kind of build a bike with, with heritage, I guess, or a storyline behind it? Drag racing really inspired a lot of custom bikes. Diggers, drag bikes, drag style custom bikes yeah. really were like a thing. So I was like, how do we make something bad, lean, and low? Well, let's make yeah. a drag bike, you know? Remind, I mean, look at this thing. It reminds Seriously. me of a crazy old hot rod. Yeah, no, and I mean, you the know? tank's big enough to definitely lay down on top of that's for sure. Because I'm yeah. assuming you're, you're, you're sprawled out on this thing. You're yeah, just looking for foot pegs. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. So how long have you guys been working on this specifically? Three, three months. Aaron, you over there? What's up, bud? What's up, dude? You got a shop ninja? Yeah. Yeah, stop. You didn't even see him over there. <laughs> no, no, so quiet. Yeah, progen away. Man. Tommy, man. Tommy, Aaron. Pleasure, pleasure. Bud. Talk, talk to me about like some of the components and stuff that are going to be going into this bike. We changed quite a bit about the way that the bike sits and stands. As sure. you can see, there's no suspension anymore. S1000R fork, so that effectively has lowered the bike quite a bit as well. No, this stance is mean. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. This is not a garage build. Sure. You know, we, we went above and beyond as far as, like, rearranging the basics of the bike and, and, and moving a lot of different things. You guys are pro. So, you guys are doing the pro work over here. We'll try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do we got here? Um, we have parts, man. Parts. We have parts. These and are legit parts. These are actual production parts. This is a production breastplate. This is all CNC finished. Uh, you see all the 3D machining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this is what we call a black ops finish. It's cool. Yeah. But you can see the quality of the machine work in it. 
and I, it's light. I think that's really cool to like highlight. Like you're putting these parts on your build. Like this isn't just something. Oh yeah, we threw it in the box and it's for sale. Like you guys believe in it. You guys use it. It's going on your. Oh, 100%. Your builds. It's clean. So same thing with the valve covers. Same process. This is a forging. Cool. I love this. I love this super subtle touch, though. Never, honestly, never would I think that I would see a blacked out BMW badge, like with the seal of approval. You know, yeah, like that's yeah. pretty cool. It's pretty rad. They let us do this. Yeah. So I mean, everything is subtly branded. You yeah. know, we got who, who's that guy? Who is that? Who is that guy? Rolling hands. Rolling hands. Swollen hands. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's good. Keep it. Yep. Approved. Yep. Approved. Yeah. Okay. All right. The bigger piece of the puzzle for this thing, um, I mean, what makes it such a special bike is all the fabrication. Totally. I mean, the render, that's the render right there. Oh, oh damn. And so you can see, you can see where we started, which was really like a pro stock bike. Totally. Yeah. Well, we made some modifications, so... <laughs> I see. Yeah. Is, that, is, that, is that a turbo? Up? Yeah, just ignore that. <laughs> it didn't happen. It didn't happen. I know it's kind of hard to believe, but this bike is going to be done in three weeks. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, three weeks. <laughs> it seems like a lot of work right? to be done. It's, <laughs> it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. I think, I think it's only right that we invite him to the drag strip to see the bike actually do its thing. I'm not going to say no. No? So, All right. Oh, yeah, man. See you there? Yeah. Appreciate you coming by. All right. See you guys. Take it easy. Little does he know, we'll let him ride his bike. Next step, we'll put him on this thing. He's going to be scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be scared. Gonna be, we're going to be scared. <laughs> we're going to be scared. And he's going to be scared. Yeah. On it. <laughs> <laughs>
to bring a helmet? Good, yeah. Awesome. Always, always travel with helmet. Good idea. You never know what you're going to get. Good idea, you. especially when you're hanging out with us. Good, good point. Good yeah. point. Yeah. Let's do this. the tire the whole way. This thing fucking rips, man. I gotta tell you, for a first ride, I'm super stoked. Right? Um, that's what it's supposed to feel like right there. I give you mad respect, man. Ripping this thing? What a fun machine. Yeah, right? It's your turn. Oh, shit. Didn't you do? Not a clue. <laughs> as far as doing a drag race start, I mean, really, you just put it in first gear, Get a little bit of revs. How much? How much rev are we talking? Hey, you've left a, a stoplight fast before. I have. Start there. Okay. Work your way up. All right. Looks like it looked like you did it before, so why are you taking your gear off? You're done, right? I can get the uh, remember the surprise? Yeah, we're on it. That's we're not on. the surprise. Come man. on, stop it. That's not the surprise. I just got I just got nervous right now. That's the surprise. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> I'm not kidding, dude. You guys are gonna trust me with that thing? I don't even know if I trust myself with that thing. Yeah, I'll take your credit card and you know, just put it in my pocket <laughs> yeah. and whatever happens. You know? just, I'll just put that in my yeah, invoice. Yeah. Holy shit, seriously? Uh, you know, I think that bike is is uh, much better suited to this racetrack than this bike is. I'm like, my you whole got your body test on. Is, is going just through waves right now. We're all about first, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. You ready? I feel like I have to say yes. It definitely makes you feel something deep in your first chakra. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Yeah? I, yeah. Yeah? Let's, let's get this piece of shit off the track. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> this isn't my bike. This is my yeah. bike. <laughs> I but it goes to...
was a good launch. You split. That's your that's your tire mark right there. Stop it. Yes. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cash out on that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Holy shit, dude! Thank you. Yeah, this is a this is like I said it when we were kind of just sitting here before I launched. Like concept, the production, and now getting to ride this thing, dude. Like makes you appreciate them all differently. But holy shit, never. I mean, getting to look at my hookup right there, just getting the like. I, I mean, it's a special feeling riding a bike like this. Like you. You know, it's intimidating. Very, very. It's it's not just intimidating for you. I mean, it was intimidating for me, too. You are so committed. No, once you're in, you're in. And once you let go of that clutch... It's go time. But I think it also goes to show how versatile this platform is. Definitely. Like, you're able to, you know, where this bike started versus where it's at today. Yeah. You know, it's it's, uh, impressive the what this motor will accept. Well, you guys crushed it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for coming out, man. Such a blast, man. I can't put into words what it's like getting to throw a leg over that bike, let alone getting to just crack that thing and rip it. But holy shit, today was such a treat. Like, they let me ride the R9T, and then they dropped the bomb on me that I got to ride the Dragster. And I am so grateful and thankful to Roland and the team and to BMW and the team for letting me have this experience, because this was once in a lifetime. I think we got some more in store for you guys. So I'll see you on the next episode.